Oh, look at that. Super restaurant quality. That is French onion soup bread pudding made. Just look at that. That is incredible. Wow. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today, a classic recipe. French onion soup. Bread pudding. It's a fantastic easy recipe to do. It's got all the savoury flavours, you know, and the richness of the French onion soup combined with a bread pudding. It starts with some onions. Onions we've got to caramelise like you would with a, an onion soup. So we're going to have to crack on and we're going to have to peel and slice our onions. And we've got some big onions. So just peel your onions like you would normally peel onions. Come on, get all your onions peeled and then we're on to the next stage. Okay, with the onions we need thin slices. The thinner the better. So just slice your onion like you normally slice onions. Nice and paper thin like that. So just take your time nice and steady. Do all your onions and then we can get on to the next stage. Okay, onions prepped. We need to get a pan on. Some butter in there. Tiny bit of oil to go in there with that butter. Get a flame on and we start to caramelize our onions. So we'll chuck some in and then we'll chuck some more in on the top in a minute. We're going to go in there with a little bit of salt. That's going to start to break that down. We'll put a little bit in there as well. And we want some sugar. Well, a little bit of brown sugar in there. That's going to help caramelize the onions and it's obviously going to make it a little bit sweeter. To take these onions down like we want to, it's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes. Yep, it's a long time. So, just get on with it. Just keep working your onions down until we've caramelized them as best we can. We just want to take most of that moisture out of there and get them brown. Okay, that's about got it. We've got those caramelized down there, look. Now we just need to add a little bit of beef broth to this. Now if you're using white wine, you would add it now. You would deglaze the pan. But you know, to be quite fair, there's nothing to deglaze. So what we want to do is just add a bit of our beef broth, probably about a cupful, and just give it a second to cook in there and then take it off the heat so if we go oh, about that much and give it a second to come in there with the onions so that'll do we've got that lovely caramelized onion in there we're just going to take that off the heat and let it cool down. Spread it out, get some air in there and put it to cool. While those onions are cooling we need to make our custard. So in there with our eggs, give them a little. In there with some milk. In there with some cream. Give it a little mix round. Right, we want to be going in there with some pepper. I'm not adding salt because we are using a beef broth made from powder. It's no, and it is a little bit salty, so we don't need to add the salt. And we want that in there 
with our custard mix. And that is a lot of fluid. Next job, break up your bread. Drier bread the better. This is shockingly dry, but not to worry. Just break it up, chuck it in your bowl. And then we're going to chuck all that custard mix on here. Mix it all up. Now this bread is a couple of days old. You can use any bread you like. It doesn't matter. We're making a bread pudding. Use French baguettes. There's our bread. And this is our custard. Grab yourself something to mix it up with. And bring it all in so the bread absorbs all that custard mix. And then we're going to leave this to stand for about 10 minutes. Just so it absorbs it all up. What we are going to do is stir in about a teaspoon of our Herbes de Provence that we made the other day. We want some flavouring in there, don't we? So let's have that stirred in. And that's going to rehydrate a little bit in there with our bread pudding custard. A nice little stir through. Okay, chuck that to one side, grab yourself a tray, get the suitable dish that you're going to dump it all in, in with some butter and grease out your dish. Up the sides. Up and on. I'm using the air fryer, so I'm going to be cooking at about 170. You're cooking at home about 175, 180, somewhere round about there. Onions. We want our onions in there. Nice little stir through. Fantabulistic. Ho oh, ho. Oh. French onion soup. Right, stir in a good handful of groovy cheese. Get that in there. And get your French onion soup, bread pudding in there. Don't squash it, just dump it on. Dump it on and just gently manipulate it around on there. Over the top with a little bit of that cheese. Now we don't want too much on at this stage because we are going to put a little secret ingredient. Croutons. On there right we want that in the oven 35 minutes okay we've got about 10 minutes left to cook on there so we want to take that out just bob it on there I mean that looks fabulous and then what carefully now carefully just take some cheese the cheese will start to melt immediately because it's that hot and this is a little secret, this is the glue. This is the glue we want on there. And then take some croutons. All onion soup has croutons on. Push it into that cheese that you've just put on there. So that's going to give like a, another crust on the top. 
and there's always cheese over croutons on French onion soup. Back in the oven, 10 minutes. Okay, we've had enough time in there, let's get that out. That is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I think the French are gonna go mad. Okay, with all these creations, it's absolutely boiling. About eight minutes, we're gonna cut into it. I can't wait. <laughs> Now right, it's a bread pudding and it should cut straight through those cheesy croutons. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yes, please. Oh look at that. That is ridiculously fantastic. <laughs> oh look at that we got to keep in the theme of the soup now this is a watery type broth made oh look at that super restaurant quality that is French onion soup bread pudding made just look at that that is incredible wow there is nothing else for it but to get in on this French onion soup bread pudding. It's amazing. We've got a crusty cheesy top with those croutons on. Come through to our cheesy bread pudding onion mixture. Look at that. That is in. Oh, yes. Oh yes indeedy, <laughs> it's a beauty, it's turned out really really well, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. We've got all those caramelised onions in there, look with our bread pudding, oh. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely amazing and that Herb de Provence seasoning through there absolutely delicious i'm sure it's going to cause a controversy out there but that is french onion soup bread pudding made amazing share with your friends share all over tell them french onion soup bread pudding if you like what we're doing big thumbs up subscribe to the channel ring that bell catch you in the next video oh fabulous